How you doing, everybody? Welcome back to Stand Focus for Jesus. Hope each and every one of you are having a blessed day in the Lord Jesus Christ as always. Have you ever planted something? Have you ever planted a tree? Did you grow up on a farm? Did you have trees in your yard? Do you know how trees work? That tree is planted from a seed and then over time the tree grows up and it brings forth fruit the tree over time it grows up these trees they didn't get this tall overnight it took time for them to grow into what they are are over time so we know we understand the concept of how growth works growth happens over time it doesn't always happen overnight my wife sent me a uh, message it was somebody talking about the American dream and how the American dream is is dead and how they basically they can't they can't afford to pay their their bills. They had a breakdown and they were they were sad about it. My wife said, "We are so blessed." And as I'm responding to her, I'm like, "Amen. We're blessed. We went through our trials and tribulations." And then we were blessed once we reached the other side of our trials and tribulations. So <clears throat> over time, I've made investments. And some of those investments, they just didn't pay off the way that I thought they were going to pay off. That's how it goes sometimes. But over time, in that same time period, while I made investments... Eventually, some of those investments paid off. And they helped us right now. But it took time for those investments to pay off, which is why I gave you the analogy of the tree. The trees. These trees took time to grow into what they are. It was a struggle for this tree to be this great gigantic tree if that tree is not taken care of then that tree is going to die so we should tend to our own tree tend to our own garden that God has God has blessed us with to make sure that we can continue to bring forth fruit in righteousness are y'all with me like I said as I'm sending my wife this message and she's explaining how and what people are dealing with today I agreed because we are in a better financial situation than we were before and the reason for that is because of the investments that I made in the past that have now paid off Where the stress, what we call the, we know as the stress of um, finances and stuff, is not as bad. Cause you know anything can happen. You're like, oh man, I gotta pay. I gotta pay that. Then the money you do have is gone. I've, I've been there too many times. You get a little money and it's something. You get a little money and something. You get a little money and something. Now we got a little money and it wasn't something popping up. Where it's like, dang, the money we did get from the investments is gone. So now we basically back at square, square one or square zero. And many of us have gone through this, go through this, and I mentioned it many, many times. If y'all knew some of the, the amount of money that we were living off of at certain times, you'd be like, ain't no way. Well, ain't no way with you. But the word of God says, all things are possible. 
through Christ. So let me reveal the numbers just to show you. I'm not boasting of my, my struggles, but hey, if I am boasting of the struggles I've went through, I'm boasting because of what God has done in my life. There were points in times, we talking about in recent years, we ain't talking about, you know, I've been married for going on nine years, I think, almost nine years, if not nine years. There are times recently when we was living off of about $20,000 a year. $20,000, we talking about a whole family. Y'all know I got three children. I got my wife. I got my mother-in-law. And it was about $20,000 a year. It just wasn't a good few few years. And, you know, some years it would, you know, it would fluctuate maybe a little bit more. I don't think it was really any, you know, any less than that. But that was like the base. And those were some tough years in the sense of not having extra money and literally living check to check off of that, off of what is known as poverty. And I can hear people now, ain't no way that's why I look at people and they're like, they making six figures and they tell me they live in check to check and they broke. I, I, I don't understand that. Like, you know, I've always been the type to make a lot out of a, out of a little if you came and visit us and you saw how we live, you would not think that we was making that amount of money. You'd be like, oh, they living, they living pretty nice. They got a nice house. Um, they got plenty of food. They're eating good because you come over to my house, we're going to eat good. You're going to eat real good. You're going to eat like a king. You're going to eat like a queen. And every time my wife would even be like, How'd you make this meal? Like, how, like how? Like, can we can we afford this? Yeah, we can afford this. This, this is what this is what I do. If anything, we are gonna eat good. If anything, we're gonna eat good. And it was a struggle. And there were times where I was I'm not gonna say frustrated, but I was I was down, as we say. It was like God, I just I just want to take care of my family. I just want to pay my bills on time. I've been through I've been through that in life, you know, not you know paying your bills on time and stuff like that. I'm grown now. I want to pay my bills on time. Let me pay these folk what I owe them. It is what it is. We don't own the power company. We don't own the water company. We don't own these different things. So we got to pay these bills. But there is coming a time when we will own all this stuff, right? Amen. <laughs> and it will be in righteousness, where we're not taking advantage of people. But we're charging if we're charging them for electricity, it's going to be fair. If we're charging them for water, it's going to be fair. You know, I don't know if it's going to be said like that. God can have where water is free. Where electricity is free. I don't know. Or he could have it where he makes the people pay because it's a lesson. Bills are lessons. You got to pay somebody. It's crazy because people will pay the light man. They will pay the water man. They will pay the cable man. They will pay the phone man. Or a woman. But they don't want to pay God what's due to God. Hmm. They pay everybody that they're supposed to pay. But they don't want to pay God what's due to God. Ain't that something? So, as I'm responding to my wife, I'm thinking like, yeah, we're blessed. But the blessing for me isn't the fruit that we now have reaped from the decisions that we made in the past, the seeds that we planted, that grew up into trees and brought forth fruit. The blessing was the trials and tribulations that we went through. The blessing, the bigger blessing was when we were making $20,000, give or take, a year, and we still thrived. As a family, the family didn't fall apart. The marriage didn't fall apart. Yeah, when we received the, you know, investment, return on investment, or some, some of the stuff, I was able to you know, pay some people back. 
you know, helping people out and stuff like that. But the bigger blessing was going through the trials and tribulations. And I reflected on that, like, yeah, this is cool, but how do we get here? How do we how do we how do we get here to get back on track and not be behind on bills and have to push this bill back? Or we're gonna push this bill back. We're gonna push the light bill back. Oh, the light bill, dude. We gotta hurry and come up with this this money. Now it's like, okay, light bill do. Let's go ahead and pay it. Boom. How much is it? 200, 250, whatever. Boom. Because the time where that light bill was crazy. I ain't gonna lie, that light bill was crazy. I was like, good luck. It's, it's just, just mad. You, look at, you ever look at your light bill, look at your bill, you just get mad? <laughs> like, ain't no way I'm using this much electricity. I got on that budget building. I said, no, nah, I ain't keep on doing this. Cause sometimes it was like 300 something dollars. I'm like, ain't no way. I ain't using this much, this much electricity. But we know they charging all these fees and they charging this, they charging that. We know how they do. But you ever look at those bills and you just get mad. I know I've looked at my bills and just, you know what I'm saying, just in my mind said, man, F this. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all know we ain't, we don't, we don't lie around here. I, I tell you how I be feeling sometimes. I'm like, man, F these bills. <laughs> This some bull jive. <laughs> Come on now, y'all know we keep it we keep it real here. I'm gonna tell you that. Can I get a can I get a can I get an amen church? <laughs> can I get can a brother get an amen? Can Pastor King get an amen on that? Cause y'all y'all know y'all know like dang. <laughs> so some of you probably like look. I did that today, bro. I stepped that bill that bill came in the mail. I was like I didn't want to open it. <laughs> God knew it was gonna be something crazy. <laughs> but dude, those trials that we go through, they 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 mold us into who we are. So the reality is I'm more thankful for when we was making about twenty thousand dollars a year combined. You may say, how in the world was y'all only making that amount of money? Well, there were certain circumstances in our in our life. Um you know, my business date, my business just, it went downhill, you know, COVID and stuff. And after that, um, my business just wasn't doing good. It was, it wasn't, it wasn't a good, good year. It wasn't a good year. So it wasn't a good few years. Um, and we dealt with what we had to deal with. We, we had money, we had reserve, but that reserve, it went away. And then it's like, okay, uh, and that's why I ended up going to work at Walmart because the business was not doing good. Real estate didn't go how I thought it was going to go. We didn't sell it how we thought we were going to sell it because the banks won that bull jive. And, you know, y'all know about that. The folks try to, try to blackmail us and everything. But I'm not mad. I'm mad because the things I want to accomplish in the, in the Lord. But overall, I'm not mad for the lessons that I learned. I'm not mad because I know this is all according to God's plan. Guys, we, I still trust him at the end of the day, no matter what happens, which is why I'm not mad overall. I have mad moments, but I'm not mad overall because he's going to rectify and clarify all of it. Right. There are greater blessings in the trials, tribulations and struggles. A lot of times than they are when you reach the quote unquote promised land or whatever you want to reach. Let's say you work hard to become a millionaire. You, you're there. But the greater blessing and the greater uh, fortitude of character mostly comes from you going through the different things that took you to become a millionaire or whatever it is, to become a real estate agent, to become a lawyer, to become a doctor, become even to become a, a preacher, to become a, a pastor, become a disciple of Christ, a disciple of God. Think about everything that you went through in life to become the disciple that you are today. And when you reflect on what you went through, you're like, you know what? Those were the greater blessings right there. Those trials and tribulations. Because God was checking to see and seeing, was I worthy of what he's going to give me? Because he don't see you worthy, he ain't going to give it to you. If he does give it to you, and he, ain't, he don't see you as worthy, then you might want to question that. Because God will allow you to get things 
just to test you. You, you think you want something, you're like, man, I ain't really want that. So reflect on that. Reflect, reflect on that. I could say, yeah, we don't have to deal with that no more. But I'm more grateful for when we did have to deal with uh, more financial struggle. Because I know that the storm don't always last. And guess what? The storm doesn't always last. So it doesn't have to be something to deal with money. It could be, you know, whatever. But most of our, our problems that we would say in this world is dealing with, with money. All of us would say that we wish we had a little bit more money to solve some problems. I mean, I'm not saying that it solves a soul problem or a spirit problem, but we we know that we know the role that money plays in this world in regards to most of us who just trying to pay our bills. And a lot of us were struggling even with that because of this wicked world. So that's what I'm getting at. But embrace the struggle. Embrace whatever it is. Because you will not always have to go through what you're going through. So, with that being said, uh, God bless each and one of you in Jesus Christ's name. As always, stay focused for Jesus. And as you know, the truth is not debated, it is declared.